Good morning. Basically, what I wanted to do today is we wanted to explain how our system works. So basically, I would come on to an actual parking lot and buy my parking ticket. We would enter the plate number of the vehicle. I would satisfy, insert my coins into the actual machine. Accept the transaction. Print my ticket. As I would leave the garage or enter the garage, if I've already paid for the parking, it basically, as you can see from the ticket, plate numbers entered on the ticket so people can't exchange tickets, I can't give it to somebody else, employees can't steal with it. As I would drive up to the actual gate of the location, the license plate recognition will actually pick up the plate. So as you can see, the license plate recognition will actually lift the gate and control gate access and do all the work for you. So the license plate, as you can see, is the same as what's on the ticket. Everything is controlled basically, and as a manager can go around the parking lot, they can actually, with their cell phone, take a look at the whole situation. So basically, reads the plate. On the system, it tells me that the vehicle is unpaid. The vehicle is unpaid. As the vehicle is unpaid, I can actually press a button, and it'll actually ask me to enter the information to put the parking ticket or a citation into the system because we have the GPS coordinates, we know where we are. We can change at different locations of where we are. And as the ticket will come out of the actual printer that's here, it actually looks like this. So the printer comes in, you have a full description of the vehicle, the ticket, the offense number. Be able to, if he enters this plate number into the actual machine, he won't be able to, as he re enters a plate for, on a future date, the system will tell it that you cannot park with us until your fine is paid. We can install a scanner right at the bottom of the screen here, and the scanner will read the barcode, and the barcode will be able to charge your credit card for the amount of your ticket that's there. But it will not allow you to park on site until the ticket has been paid for. The cameras that we use are Tatili cameras from Italy. They work very well, they're very accurate, probably I would say 98% accuracy, but we've created a fuzzy logic that you can actually eliminate some of the plate numbers that are on there. So instead of having seven characters, you can bring it down to four or three, and if, it do, if they're in sequence, the gate will go up to bring the accuracy up at another level, or when there's snow on the plate in the winter time, which happens maybe five to six times a year where We've had an issue where plates get covered in snow from a major storm. Uh, the system works with an Android platform base, so any Android phones we can download the uh, necessary information. What's in the white square basically reads the plates. You can read three plates per second at 160 kilometers an hour. But you can see from the video I'm walking through the, uh, this parking uh, out in Montreal, and it communicates back with the meter that's been purchased the ticket. And you can see on there, that as I'm scanning the plates, it's showing me that the vehicle is paid. So I know that the vehicle is paid at all times. I, there's different options that we can talk about in the future date, the timing issues where you can actually put in that the customer can get two hours free parking and they need to be charged after a certain amount of time. We can set all the perimeters at a different type of location. You can see that this vehicle is unpaid. This vehicle is an expired ticket. From there, I'm able to, as you can see the database that we showed before, so it shows all different infractions, patient, the zone, expire, grace period. And you can see from there, it's very easy. At the press of a button, we basically print the site. Okay. On this um, device here, we've, de we've designed a tablet that basically can look after um, the validations for uh, residential buildings. So as we have a residential building, you wanted to monitor and you wanted to register visitor parking. Visitor parking can basically just come up inside the lobby and just go to the device and enter their plate number. As the plate number is entered in, express. okay, the vehicle basically will come up and it, right now it's showing up as an unpaid because it's not into the system, but as you would register a vehicle, it would register it. 
that would communicate with the cell phone technology that I showed you before, which the manager could basically just walk onto the premises, scan all the plates that are on the vehicles, and know that the vehicles have been registered on site. If the residential buildings wanted to charge for parking after, let's say, 24 hours, we can install a credit card, a uh, swipe card, which people can come in and just basically pay for extended stay for one or two days or different things. Thank <laughs> you. 